AirThings, a Norwegian tech company, is educating and helping homeowners monitor their indoor air quality and radon levels with their range of sensors. They recently sent me a Wave Plus monitor to review. It costs $230 on their website, but you can sometimes find it for $197 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. It's a sleek white disc, 12 centimeters or 4 and 3 quarters in diameter. It weighs 219 grams or half a pound and it runs on two AA batteries that can power the device for a year. Setup is very simple. Download the AirThings app, create an account and log in, turn on your device and connect it to your phone via Bluetooth. When you wave your hand over the device, a colored ring illuminates in green, yellow or red to give you an indicator of air quality. The mobile app provides more details about the readings on each sensor. You can view the same data on your desktop through the AirThings dashboard. The Wave Plus has six trackers for radon, VOCs, CO2, humidity, temperature and pressure. Radon is a colorless, odorless, radioactive gas that is the main cause of lung cancer among non-smokers. Uranium-238 in the earth naturally decays into radium-226 and then radon-222 gas which can enter our homes through the foundation. This emits a radioactive alpha particle composed of two protons and two neutrons. When an alpha particle hits our DNA, it can damage the cell's blueprint. Broken cells replicate themselves to form a cancerous tumor. The Wave Plus uses alpha spectrometry to measure the radon levels. The sensor consists of a passive diffusion chamber that air flows into. A photodiode counts the amount of radon particles in the air sample. Radon is not an instant measurement, but an average value over a long period of time because the amount of alpha particles can vary dramatically. The longer the measurement, the more the data points, the more accurate the readings become. You must measure it for at least 30 days in a single location. If your levels are more than 4 picocuries per litre for more than 30 days, contact a professional radon mitigator. Readings between 2.7 and 4 picocuries per litre for more than 3 months need to be addressed. Readings less than 2.7 picocuries per litre are safe. The readings in my office are consistently less than 0.4 picocuries per litre. I made a video on radon mitigation systems a while back, I'll link it up here. The easiest way to reduce high radon levels is to open a window and increase ventilation in a room. AirThings believes that their sensors are more accurate and reliable than charcoal tests that you can buy off Amazon because those are more prone to human error and they don't measure readings over a long period of time. The Wave Plus also measures TVOCs or total volatile organic compounds. Not all VOCs are bad. Many naturally occurring ones are non-toxic. However, harmful VOCs can cause short-term effects like headaches, nose, throat and eye inflammation, coughing and pneumonia. In the long run, it can affect the central nervous system, liver, spleen, blood and reproductive system. VOCs can be emitted from candles, fragrances, new furniture, cleaning products, glue, children's toys and paints. It can't detect a natural gas leak, but it will show a spike in VOC levels. It also detects formaldehyde in its total VOC reading. AirThings uses a metal oxide-based sensor with a sensitive layer that reacts to chemicals by adsorption. The sensor reacts to most VOCs but can't differentiate between the good and the bad VOCs and the different types. Levels over 2000 parts per billion are dangerously high, 250 to 2000 is moderate, while 0 to 250 is acceptable. The readings in my office are usually under 100 parts per billion unless I burn a candle. Then the levels spike to 200 parts per billion. Next, the Wave Plus measures carbon dioxide or CO2 levels. In small quantities, it is natural and harmless, but as levels rise, it can affect productivity and sleep. It can lead to restlessness, drowsiness, increased heart rate and blood pressure, nausea, sweating and headaches. AirThings uses NDIR or non-dispersive infrared sensors to measure CO2 levels. It collects a sample of air in a chamber shines a light and measures how much light has passed through excluding the CO2 molecules. CO2 levels over 2000 parts per million need to be addressed immediately through ventilation. 1000 to 2000 parts per million are moderate while the ideal levels are under 1000 parts per million. My new house has serious issues with ventilation. I don't have ceiling fans to move air 
the old windows don't open and the old HVAC unit doesn't move enough air in the house. The CO2 levels in my office spike every morning and afternoon when I'm working. The Wave Plus also measures humidity levels, which is the amount of water vapor present in the air. Relative humidity of 100% means that the air is saturated and can't hold any more water vapor. High humidity creates excess moisture and condensation and leads to mold, asthma, allergies and dust mites. Low humidity can cause dry skin and eczema and the spread of viruses. Humidity levels over 70% and less than 25% are poor. 60 to 70 and 25 to 30 are fair, while 30 to 60 are ideal. The Wave Plus says that humidity levels in my home are always around 50%. However, since my bathrooms don't have an exhaust or operable windows, the humidity levels in there always spike after a shower. Temperature levels are also measured. 68 to 74 degrees Fahrenheit is considered to be safe. Higher temperatures can affect cognitive abilities, while lower temperatures can lead to respiratory disease. The temperature in my office spikes to 78 during the day, even though the thermostat is set to 76. This is an indication that the old HVAC unit is underperforming and is unable to cool all the spaces evenly. Finally, the device measures air pressure, which should ideally be around the same as outdoor atmospheric pressure, 113.25 millibar. Positive air pressure means that air gets pushed into the walls and insulation. It can lead to doors slamming shut, whistling and random drafts of air. Don't leave me alone with the ghost! Negative air pressure causes outdoor air to rush in. In winter, the dry air in your home can cause nosebleeds, chapped lips and static. In summer, it can lead to condensation, mold and mildew. The pressure in my office is consistently around 995 millibar. The Wave Plus monitor can be accessed through a mobile app, dashboard, Alexa, Google Assistant, and this is new to me, IFTT, which stands for If This Then That. After downloading the IFTT app, create an account and then your own applet. Choose Air Things as a service, then select a trigger. You can be notified if humidity falls below a certain threshold or if radon, CO2, temperature or mold levels are too high. Finally, choose a service. You can tweet this notification or send yourself an email. I'm very impressed with the Wave Plus. Setting up the app and pairing it was very easy and I didn't have any connectivity issues. I love the fact that you can just move this from one room to another. Just make sure that you monitor each room for at least a month to get accurate results. I get that they were trying to be discreet and sleek with the design, but I wish it was a little bit sexier. It looks very similar to a carbon monoxide monitor. I think the price is justified because of all its features and the peace of mind it offers. It also has an eight to 10 year lifespan, just like a smoke detector. A device like this really should become standard in every home, especially since the industry is moving towards airtight homes. I haven't tested similar products, so if you have a recommendation, leave me a comment below. I'll also link my Patreon page in the description. If you can support me, I'd really appreciate it. A big thank you to everyone already supporting me. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See ya.